In this video, I want to talk about how you can add new pages to a PDF document along with form fields, buttons, any kind of interactivity that you may have on it in both Adobe Acrobat and the free Adobe Reader software. So right now, you can see that I have a form in Adobe Reader and on this form, I have some buttons. You see that I have additional education, additional skills, and additional comments. If I click on one of these buttons, like additional education, you can see that now I have two of two pages. Before I had one of one pages. I'm going to click and go back, and you'll notice that if I come down and I add some, another one, like additional skills, I click and now I've got three pages. Once again, this is in the free Adobe Reader software. These pages were added along with the form fields. You can see that on both of these spawned pages, I've got checkboxes and form fields throughout the form. Okay, so let's take a look at how we actually create this. I'm going to leave Adobe Reader now. I'll close it and no, I won't save it. Let's go over to Adobe Acrobat and I'll open up that same form. You'll notice now I'm in Acrobat Pro and I'm going to come and take a look at what's going on on these links here. So let's go to prepare form and I'll double click and you see that I have a JavaScript here. I'm going to select the JavaScript and click on my edit button. Now you don't have to really understand JavaScript because I'm going to uh, upload this form to my uh, website and I'll provide a link in the description for where you can download the form. So don't worry about understanding what's going on. It's just that I'm getting page templates that in this JavaScript and it's this command right here, spawn page from template, is actually adding that template as a new page in my form. All right, so this is the JavaScript. You can copy and paste this, and you can create your own page templates in your own document, paste this script in on a button, and you can spawn pages from templates. Now, let me tell you exactly where we have page templates. You'll notice that over here in my Tools panel, you see that I have paid a Page Templates button. Now, if you don't have that, you can click on the More Tools, and you can just add this uh, Page Templates. I've already added mine. So let's take a look at, at uh, what, I, what happens when I click my page templates button here. You'll notice that in the tools uh, bar up above, I have this icon. When I click on it, you see that I can see my page templates in my document. If I click on this check mark, it actually will show these pages. Uh, so I'm going to close and you can see that if I scroll down, you can see that I have these page templates visible now. I can click once again and make them invisible, in which case this goes back to one over one, meaning one page in the document. When the page templates are hidden, they're not counted as additional pages in your file. So when you create your own page templates, you actually go to the page, like this page here. If I wanted to create a page template from this page, I would just click, I would type in a name, click on the Add button, and I would add the page template. Then you place a button, copy and paste that JavaScript, make sure that you get the right name for the page template, and uh, you're good to go. All right, so it's just that easy. I will put a link in the description where you can download this form, tear it apart, take a look at the JavaScripts, and see if you can create your own page templates in your own forms and add a JavaScript that will spawn a page from a template. So once again, this is Ted Padova wishing you all the very best in all your forms creation activities.